welcome to Salford. I am really, really keen and enthused to see lots of people who were here last year. Daring greatly is, I suppose, not being scared of change. I've just found it to be a great environment and space for people who are serious about daring greatly. same industry who are doing the same work in other places and understand what we can learn from each other. I think it's a really unique kind of conferences. It's different than any, any other conference I've ever attended. I do not think that my parents' bank balance should determine my future. Nor do I believe that I should be educated to be rich but instead to be happy. So that one day I know the value of things rather than the price. However, I do want to be rich, but I want to be morally rich. The 19 Prime Ministers have come from one school. Well, we're pretty committed to finding one from Salford, or from Gorton, or from Mossside. I hope that the delegates are inspired by us. We do this together. We're all leaders. I love what the kids said about, are your expectations for your children as good as the expectations of children you meet within your services? We're going to create a new government agency that's non-law enforcement, the first of its kind in the country. Well, we've got to give the user the voice to direct what we're doing and how we're doing it. Listening to both the stories from Olympus and from Richmond and California, neither of them health related about what does that do for our thinking around health and social care. So I think there's a lot of lessons that have been picked up there that we could translate easily into the health and social care challenges we've got. Every single day, every single second of the day, we, we're faced with changes in our life and I think in order to get the maximum out of life and be happy, I believe, and to be able to embrace that change and become stronger from it, you need to accept it. We've been asking everybody to think of an example where you've dared greatly in your personal life. Oh, really, I do daring things every day, I think. I'm a rule breaker. So when I was growing up, my mum and dad used to foster children, and my brother, I grew up, was fostered. And when I met my husband, we decided to adopt a child, and we adopted an older child, which was a brave thing to do. It's about standing up for things that you believe. We hope that there's somebody out there at the top who has those best interests of an organisation. Have a look at how we can better the mental health experience of the veteran who finds himself or herself in a very lonely place. Love what you do and give love to those you do it with. <laughs>